Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. It's the 11th of April now, so this might go out next week. But okay. for the audience, it's the 11th of April, and you boys have had a big weekend. I think your penalty was a little bit more impressive than mine because Ivan Tony has not missed a penalty for five years. Did you know this, by the way? Yeah, everyone knew, didn't they? Five yeah, years? Everyone knew, yeah. So, so talk me through it. Come on. How, how do you go about judging this penalty and where to go and how to save it? To be fair, like, he's had four against me now in 12 months. Have so, you, yeah. like... My odds are better than other goalies. I've had four goes at it, do you know what I mean? So uh, obviously with him, like when he's walking up to the ball and he's that slow, you're there like in the moment thinking like, if you flinch too quick... You've just got to hold your ground. You've just got to try and hold your ground, don't you? Yeah, like if you flinch too quick, he's kicked it in the other corner and you're there like on your backside or stood up like watching. Yeah, so like, it's horrible, isn't it? It's just while I'm like, Raul Jimenez is a similar one. Like I, he had one like 96th minute against me and we're 1-0 up at Burnley. And like I've just edged a little early, like I've dropped my knee off a bit and he's like rolled it the other way oh. and you just feel like the biggest idiot can you, ever. Can you, with, in a situation like that, can you almost dummy though and go to make a flinch? But Yeah, of course, yeah. I think that's kind of half, half the idea, like moving one part of your body one way so maybe they think you've gone when you're already planning to go the other way. Um, but you know, the boys are so good at it. it, it, it I think he's 25 in a row, was he? Yeah, Ivan or something. Yeah. So like he'd have seen every trick in the book I'm guessing so, so had you done like re your research beforehand you know because like the goalie the media uh, sorry the like the analysis team they will have mm. give you all sorts of info of try and do this try and do that is that the case or did you just sort of go no nah, I'm going to do it myself this time yeah it was a little bit of myself just because you know he looks at that and you know with his technique it's more based on it's not really um he doesn't really I don't think make his mind up before he's kicked it yeah he's, he a last minute. His, he's making his mind up in motion like in the moment so Whatever research you do doesn't really matter because yeah. if you do something, he's going to react to what you do. Uh -huh. So it's just one of them. You kind of, yeah, you, you, you're with the gods. You're open to go your way, you know? So I saw um, Thomas Frank said after the game as well, he said that there were some like dark arts at play. He was saying that some of the Newcastle players got all up in his face <clears> and, do you know what I mean, intimidated him a little bit. What do you make of that? Because I ain't having that for one little bit. I think <laughs> that's, that's fair play, now, mate. Isn't it? I think that's, that's fair play, mate. Yeah. You've got to do sort of that sort of stuff, haven't you? I mean, you've got a free kick from 12 yards. What more do you want? Imagine you know? that. <laughs> you've like, got this massive goal yeah. to score in and from 12 yards out. Yeah. I th like I say, he'd, he'd have faced everything the last, you know, if it goes in, nothing gets said. I think dark arts, it's one of the things with penalties now. I think you're always going to have, you know, people around the taker, people around the spot. Obviously, the decision itself was something that I don't think we're too happy about. Yeah, so, yeah. like, you know, ramped it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think one of them, like, as soon as we get a penalty, uh, we had it with... Um, Isak at yeah. Forest a couple of weeks Kieran ago. Trippier when he took the ball, and, didn't he, and uh, held it for a bit. The ball yeah. and held the ball, and you know, there's people getting in everyone's face. You know, 96 minute, you got a penalty. No one's being left to themselves. So, um, um, what do you make of all like the new sort of goalkeeping sort of shit housery, All these bits and bobs. You might, yeah. you, you'd have definitely seen it in the World Cup, like Emmy yeah. Martin. That's the extreme yeah. level kind of. Thing. I think, like you say, I think there is a line with the, the sportsmanship. I don't, I don't agree with like scuffing the spot and stuff like that. I think that's kind of a yeah. That's not that's, that's not a not level it, too yeah. far for me. Um, but yeah, the it was interesting giving that like, like Emmy as well. Fair Would you ever do him. anything like that? Because I don't think you're that kind of yeah, guy. I don't no think what? I'd do that personally. Mm. I don't think I'd do it. I'd be like, no, I just try and I'll just back myself, and that's all it'll come down to. Yeah, I think you have. Um, yeah, I, I think having that level of doing something may take takes your attention away. Well, I'd probably be concentrating more on trying to save it. But obviously, he was doing both. To be fair, would yeah. a goalie um, coach would a goalie coach ever speak to you about that and say? listen, maybe uh, do this or, or or delay. Is that something that a goalie coach would ever indicate to you? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, I think you're kind of encouraged maybe to do that sort of thing anyway. If the lo I think, I just speak to takers, but the longer from the penalty given to when you've got to take it is not probably great time, you know, good, for them. Not good the, for the striker. Not good yeah. for the striker. The more thinking time, you know, more noise, more yeah. pressure, like maybe so the more you can extend that time is only kind of working in your favour. Um, I think they're going to change the rules, aren't they, because of Emmy. So. Mate, they're changeable <laughs> to suit yeah. the strikers. Like yeah, they always yeah, no do. Surprise, they change the balls to make them fly quicker, yeah. yeah. less grippier. They'll change anything they can to yeah. see more goals, won't they? Yeah, goal, goal will be bigger soon, won't it? Everybody bigger hates goals. a goalie, mate. Oh, the psychologically should be used to it, shouldn't we? Yeah, yeah, psychologically, old. though, I know you talked about this in the past, Ben, being, being such a big goalie, Nick, Psychologically, when you spread your like wingspan, yeah. that goal 
becomes a lot smaller, doesn't it? So it must be a you're you're a fairly big goalie, aren't you, Ben? Yeah. And then Nick, you're you're bigger than Ben. So having that presence in the goal must straight away make there you that go. goal That's shrink. That's the question then, because when I was watching the, F- uh, the World Cup final. You've got Hugo Lloris, I love Hugo. You've got Emmy Martinez, two completely different goalkeepers. But I'm watching this penalty shoot and I'm thinking, nah, mate, if I'm coming up and I'm facing Emmy Martinez, he's massive. Like yeah. he's not far off your height. I'm thinking mm. that would intimidate me. That's the yeah. thing, isn't it? I think so. I think if you're you're walking up as a taker, World Cup final anyway. Yeah. And then oh, you look wow. up and you've got these long arms, long legs, like And he's in, dancing around in like the goal, a dickhead. dancing around. <laughs> thinking, in a way, you probably I think it's probably annoying you more than you'd want it to, and you're thinking do you start overthinking it? And you're thinking, I want to score so bad yeah. just to shut him up. But then that's clouding your it's mind even good, more. That, it's it? all going in the goalie's favour. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So it's, uh, oh, mate, fair play to him. As a goalkeeper, right, you are, honestly, I, I know I say it, I've said it on a lot of podcasts, a lot of our shows that we do. You're you're like my ideal goalie. I, I want my goalie to be big and brave and command his area and make saves, right? This newfangled way of like goalkeepers apparently is playing out. For, I don't, I'm not having that for it. Well, I'm not having it, mate. Honestly, I'm yeah. personally not. I just want my goalkeeper to make saves. That is what he's there for, first and foremost. But I want to know about the mentality side of it from you, okay? Because this is what I think is one of your biggest strengths as a goalkeeper is nothing ever seems to phase you. You know exactly what you're good at and you just focus on doing that. Is that something you've ever had to work at? Um, I think experience probably plays a big part. Um, How old are you now? I'm 30 now. Yeah. I know. Oh, Um, nice. (laughs) nice. (laughs) It's a verse over the hill. Um, And I think like when you go on loans and you go through different experiences, you just like, you go through so much, so like highs and lows, like like promotion, relegations, good games, bad games, like so many different things so there's this goal coach at Charlton Lee Turner I only had him for a year I think and um he kind of was one of the only first people for to speak to me about it and saying about um being close to the line uh he's the equilibrium if you like that like settled line so where things are going good bad indifferent never get too high never get too low yeah. like sounds proper basic I suppose but I think as a goalkeeper that mentality is is massive and I, I think you know you get maybe reminders during your career when that sort of thing happens uh i can think of like we we scored a 90th minute equalizer against liverpool at burnley at turf and um you're running around like celebrating and then like 94th minute whipping a free kick and like i think it was uh clavin scored at the back stick and then all of a sudden like you feel like an idiot you know? <laughs> so you get like little reminders over your, your career i think and i think it's just it's something that was massively important to me because i got sent out on loan a couple of times and you know sometimes they you know, go through difficult periods difficult games and then you're obviously worrying about the bigger picture of your whole career um and how that's going to pan out and will, will i make it at charlton or will i have to go somewhere else or wherever that may be so just keeping that balance Thanks, everybody, for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.